What's up, heroes? My name is Siler Clone, and welcome back to the adventures of Aswad Dick Whistle in Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. So last time, we arrived on Manan and met up in the Republic Embassy with Roland Wan. We told him about our mission, thinking the Republic might be able to help us, and told us, yeah, I might have some information about a star map. However, on Manan, the Sith and the Republic are on the same planet together. They have to work in harmony because the Selkath, the residents of Manan, do not wish to take sides in the war. So both have an embassy, the Sith and the Republic, here on Manan. And the Sith embassy has captured a droid that the Republic has. And they want to retrieve the information on it before the Sith can get to it. So we're storming the embassy today to try to find it. So hopefully we'll be able to find that droid, get the information, and get out of the Sith embassy unnoticed for the most part. And if we get caught, we'll do things the old asswad dick whistle way and just chop everything down that we see. So we're going to continue on this way. Ooh, a Sith Captain. I'm going to take him on down. I'm going to queue up a couple attacks for myself first. Never mind. I'm just going to take him down. I'm going to queue up a couple attacks here on this one while I switch to the other two. Because otherwise, I tend to default into going to flurry attacks, which is all well and good. However, really lowers my defenses. And right now, there's a lot of people, and I'd rather not have it do that. So even right now, I see I went into the flurry mode based on everything there. 250 for that droid. Well, now that I got the one here, I should be able to do a flurry just fine. I'll take that one down. It looks like there's some more people over here. So I'm going to drop a stun off on that Sith Trooper. He was saved. Well, that's unfortunate. Try it on the other one. He's saved as well. So now it's just going to be a matter of hack and slash our way through it. But a 28 damage on that roll, and even more after that as well. 38, it looked like. Should make this really easy. Yeah, we're just kind of mowing the floor with these guys. And if we get hurt, that's what heals are for. And we have other stuff for HK to heal him up as well. Deflecting bullets left and right. And there we go. Take everyone on down. Let's see if they dropped anything good for us. So my force points are kind of low, which is okay. Not a big deal. And there are some remains. Let's see what they are. Water pump analysis. So I assume it has something to do with this room. Because what I remember, these two rooms here are a little bit of a puzzle. One fills with water, and the rooms around are, can fill with water as well. So the trick is to try to transfer the water from one room to another, so you can just walk right on through. So what I'm going to try in this one, so it looks like it's blue, so I'm going to assume that means there's water to it. I'm going to transfer the water into that room. Actually, I'm not entirely sure where that went. Let's try it on this side here. Okay. So it looks like there's no water in here, but blue means there's water in there. So we're going to try to transfer it over to this one. Warning. Activating flow control may flood occupied chambers. Please ensure all receiving chambers are empty. Well, I know they are. My three people... All three of us are here. So then I'm going to go ahead and... Warning. Proceed with the transferring of the water okay and it looks like this one's already transferred over so we'll walk right on through and wow just like that real easy walk right on through we don't have to worry about anything cool so i've been doing a little looking i was looking through some of my inventory earlier what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to change this jedi master robe that we picked up because while yes it does significantly lower my armor i think i'm really close to a level up if i remember right but this will bring me to 21. That'll bring me to 25. I'll be even closer, especially with having Force Aura on me. Which, by activating that, gets me, yes, to 23. But I'm real close. It should be able to level me up. And I'll be able to use some other ones as well. I'm also going to, I believe, switch my belt here for a nerve amplifier belt. I don't have any immunity to any mind-affecting things. So I want to kind of get that going as well, since I feel we're going to start encountering more Sith. So I'm going to use that. I have my Force R active. Oh, hello. We've seen some people. You're the one I'm afraid of most, Grenader. Because they're kind of scary. Do I have any good grenades here that Karth could throw? I don't want to throw a Thermal Detonator or an Adhesive Grenade or a Cryoban. Ion's not going to work. Oh, a Concussion would be good. It'll lower everything. And HK cannot see anybody. HK is just kind of running in, going in hot. I don't want to know what happened here. 
But the grenade is going to come down, and there's apparently something there that is going to be doing some damage. And I do get a level up right away. Cool. This heavy trooper really doesn't stand a chance. I'm not entirely sure what happened to my force are, so I'm going to reactivate that after this. It's going to help with my defense rating. I think HK is going to go down here because he was a dummy and just kind of ran in guns blazing. See if I can do a level up here and kind of cheat the system like in Skyrim. So we're going to do the level up, hopefully get all of our hit points back. So Caleb Pearson mentioned to me in the comments in a previous video that I should probably keep leveling up Persuade. I know a few episodes back I said, you know, we probably will just leave it alone, but... After doing some reconsidering and looking at a couple of strategy guides and seeing how the Persuade system actually works, it'll be beneficial to keep leveling up Persuade and Treat Injury. So I'm going to continue on that way. Powers here, just like what I wanted to do here, I'm going to get Force Shield. It grants me a plus four to defense in all saving throws, and it'll last for 20 seconds. So I'm going to put that on in there and accept that on out. And it does look like my vitality points have gone back up to full. So by closing, hey, Karth, pleasure for you to finally join us. Hey, HK, you going to get up? Thank you. Get an advanced repair kit on you, bud. Get a couple of them here. We've got a lot. And actually, I'm going to keep you there. It looks like that's a computer terminal. So let me see. Do we have anything that we can put on you real quick to see if that kind of upgrades your computer use or anything? Awareness, weapon focus, blaster pistol, nah. Flamethrower, as cool as that sounds, doesn't look like it does anything. That'll do that. Uh, okay, so let's dig into this computer here. Splice on in. I'm using HK rather than myself because I have no points in computer use. Neither does Karth. It's going to end up costing us more spikes to even do anything. So let's view what's going on here. The East Barracks. Looks like there are a couple people in there. We're going to leave them alone. No need to overload anything. Security room. Interesting. Force field and the droid, it looks like. Let's see. Oh, we could disable the sentry droids. I actually might just do that. We'll see what else is in here, though. That sounds like fun. Computer room. Well, that's where we are. Let's not do anything there. Reception. Ah, oh, that's... Okay, the front door. We'll leave her alone. She doesn't know we're here yet. Training room. Looks to be a Selkath and a Sith. Ooh. A Dark Jedi. That's going to make things interesting. Doesn't look like we can do anything. Flow control room is where we just were. All right. What else is there? Steam control room. What is that? We might be activate the steam vents as well. That's seven. Disassembly room. That looks like what we're looking for. That'll be our droid right there. There are only four people in there. Two of them are droids. No problem. We're going to just leave them there. They'll be real easy to take down. Ah, I'm not going to worry about the schematics. So let's see. Where was that security room? I'm going to disable those sentry droids. Because that sounds like a good thing to do. Otherwise, they sound kind of scary. We'll see if the force field is really necessary on that one. Did I need anything in the disassembly room? Nah, we don't need that. Anything else? Well, if we need anything more, we'll come on back. We'll come on back. That shouldn't be a problem. And we get a level up. Wow, that's a lot of experience, and it looks like it was Kart that gets the level up. So attributes for him. I'm going to round up dexterity, make him harder to hit, give him better boosts for his rolls for his blaster. Funnel another point to treat injury. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to go back and put a point in the toughness here for him. I guess I could give him a blaster rifle, but I don't really want to do that just yet. Bonus with melee weapons. That doesn't sound good. Don't want to do power shot. He's not doing anything. I guess I could do implants. Help him out with that. Conditioning. All saving throws. That makes sense with Karth, but I don't think it's going to really do anything. Yeah, we're going to put another point in uh, improved toughness here. All right, this subtracts two points from any damage suffered. That sounds really good. So we're going to keep that there on Karth. And back to myself here, and let's continue on moving. Let's see what else we can find here. It's a Sith Heavy Trooper. Let's kill him. 
His gun just misfired. Kill him. Make him dead. I should be keeping my force shield on at all times now, and that's going to be something we're going to have a hard time remembering. Because if we run into combat, and that takes very little to no force points to actually use. So let's see. East Barracks, we know there's two guys in here. A red Sith Elite Trooper, and then just a droid, I remember. Sith Grenader. You know what? We've got Sith Heavy Trooper right here. I'm going to take him out first. Whew! 56 damage. See if we can stun him up. HK. Where did you just come from? Well then, HK just appears out of nowhere going ham and takes him down. And I do 64 damage in one roll. Holy but Jesus, Batman. I don't know where you came from, HK, but that was hella impressive. Yes. Alright, switch between all of our force points. Activate our force shield again. Drop our Achani dueling shield. Just so we have it up. Give Karth his Sith energy shield. Activate your energy sure. shield. Looks like there's a foot locker in here. We'll leave the mine alone. 125 credits. That'll be good. You know what? We'll disable the mine. I'm sure that could possibly be some hidden experience. Either way. Did that just say remains or no? Foot locker. Okay. We're going to continue on our adventure here. What's in the door? Oh. So I do have to disable that force field. Okay. Well, I can go back to the computer room and take a look at that. Looks like an advanced... A couple of advanced gravity generators, which probably were dropped from the sentry droids. Now, since we saw that Sith... Can I open this way? No. Since we saw that Sith, before I go through that energy shield, I'm probably going to... After I disable it, I'm going to probably save the game. Because that sounds like something we're getting ready for some big combat. I don't necessarily want to die and have to do everything all over again. So we're back here at the desk. HK, you're up, buddy. Slice into the computer again. We're going to go back to, what was it, the security room? Disable the force field. All right. So that's been taken care of here. I don't think we really need anything else. Steam control room. Uh, I can't deactivate the steam vents. I don't have enough points or enough spikes. I'm in the security computer room. Training room, I couldn't do anything. Couldn't do anything else as well. So I'm just going to log on out for the time being and drop a quick save real quick. So I'll be right back in a save, and we're going to head on that way. All right, with our game saved now, let's continue on where we're going here. So I'm going to drop back this force shield. And I'm actually... Well, we only have a flash mine. I think I sold everything else. So that's unfortunate. That's okay, though. What I'm actually going to do... Is I'm going to try this. See if this works. Because I... I've, apparently there's an invisible wall. Well, I might not have the chance to do so. Alright. So I don't know what lies behind this door. Drop my force shield again. Pause the game real quick. I'm afraid for some combat here. So, ooh, I don't. I only have the Achani Battle Stimulant. I'm going to use this Adrenalist Stamina real quick. I have this fear we're about to get into something crazy. Drop my Force Shield once more. And open up the door. Nothing. Oh. Ah. What? Okay. Dark Jedi Apprentice. That's not good. Not even in here for one second, and I'm already taken down. Let's see if it'll tell me what I've been being taken down by. Stasis, it looks like, or stun. So I've been stunned. That's not good, which means I have to rely on everybody else here. Karth's got to dis disable on him as well. Looks like the leftover from the stun, and it drops his defense. That's huge. So we have to rely on HK and them to be able to take everything down. So I'm, I'm going to drop a couple of concussion grenades here and use some of my other big grenades. I'm not going to use the thermal detonator just yet. I'm going to try a sonic grenade as well. Yes. So rather than getting into combat... Yeah. Ooh. As they just run into everything. Garth, you want to actually do something and not run straight into combat? Sure. Alright, that stun took forever. Now, now I'm mad. Now I'm actually mad. Let's go. 
So we've got one of these Dark Jedi apprentices taken down. Karth and them are actually taking a lot of damage, but I should be okay. Wow, he is tough. Karth goes down. Well, that's what you get for running into everybody. This Dark Jedi is really just going to town here. Like, don't you use a med pack? That's cheating. And HK's down as well. I'm going to take the old back off and fight another day sort of approach to things. So hopefully I can get them to break off from me while I take a, take a bit of a scaredy cat approach. I'm going to disengage from combat. Are they still following me? No, they are not. Okay, that's good. All right, so I take quite a bit of damage, and luckily I'm able to get Karth and HK out with me. I'm really surprised that worked that way. Yes, ready. Get out of combat. No okay. one go into combat. <laughs> We're not doing that. All right, so the one is... What? Drop that. My dueling shield, I think, went down as well in that. No one. surprise there. Karth, use your Sith energy shield. Ready. Yes. Whew. We have five med kicks ready. between me and Karth. Ready. Yes. One. Yes. All right. Let's go back and take out these two remainder. They're 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 weak. They're really weak. But holy cow. Me being down for that extended period of time was not good. Come on, fight me around the corner. So it looks like even if you get saved on that, it does quite a bit of an effect on you. And I don't have enough to put down my forced energy shield on me, so there's another Dark Jedi down. Since it's just the one, we're gonna try and flurry on him and missing all of them, thank goodness. Whew, we took them all down. Get a crystal, an RO amplifier, and a Sith energy shield. Those are some good ones. Another short lightsaber. Good, 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 good. We're getting some good stuff here. Did you not drop anything? Well, that's unfortunate. So I'm going to heal up here. I have no idea what's going to be around the corner. So we're going to continue on the adventure. Where's this door? I'm not entirely sure where I'm going now. To Otto City. Droid Repair. That sounds like where we need to go. So we're going to head on that way. Where'd Karth go, actually? We need Karth before we can advance much further. Oh, he's right there. Never mind. Found you, Karth. I was a little concerned. Wanted to make sure you were with us, buddy. Now I'm low, so I have to wait for my points. Well, doing so, heal up HK. Sure. Because we're going to go back into some combat here. All right, so we're we're pretty healed up here. I'm going to prep my force shield once again. How did I not see this place before? Okay. So it looks like we have to go into the disassembly room here. I'm going to wait a little bit more so I can get this back. I got that back. I'm actually out of my dueling shield. So I'm going to take a Mandalorian melee shield. Oh, that's 20 points total. That's 30 points, Sonic and Electrical. Yeah, I'll take a Mandalorian melee shield, and I'll equip that too. And into the disassembly room we go. Faulty Wardroid. Hey, HK. Might you be able to help us with this? How many repair parts do we have? We have 26. We have 15 in repair. Let's give this a go. Optimizes weaponry, targeting systems, activate, and engage in patrol mode. Leave it alone. Hey, if this helps us out, go on in there, buddy. So this droid's going to help us out in our raid here. This is going to be great. It's going to make life so much easier. Why are you still alive? I hit you. Go away. 200 experience. War droid, pretty much not the least of our issues right now. I'm going to take out the sentient beings here. HK gets a level up. That might actually be helpful right now, so I'm going to take care of that real quick. Attributes. Since I've got him shooting it a lot, I'm going to max up dexterity, get that modifier, go from that plus two to a plus three. Skills. Uh, I'm going to put another couple of points into compare, computer, uh, point in computer use. Another point in repair since that's helping heal him. Feats. I've been uh, given battle droid logic upgrade. What is that? Fully experienced. Plus six to defense and is always active. That is amazing. And I think I'm going to give him Master Power Blast here. 
Adds a plus 10 damage to the next blaster attack and a minus 3 penalty for it. I will take that. And I'll probably go in from toughness from there. All right. And accept that for HK. He's going to be doing a lot more damage for us now. Sith Trooper goes down. That war droid goes down. The grenader's about to go down. That other droid went down. I just... Oh, the droid I brought in goes down. Karth, come on in the room and help. It's not scary. Well, that little droid helped us out quite a bit. Two poison grenades. That's... Those will be good. What do you have? I hope you have more grenades. A battle stimulant. That's going to work even better. I might have to hit a shop to look for a couple more of those. Universal computer interface and a security decryption interface for droids. Let's see if we can put any of this on HK. Motion sensors. Nah, we don't need that. I don't have the prerequisites. I don't. I need the upgrade class 3. But that would be really nice to have on it. I'm probably going to put it on here. I don't, I don't need... Well, I could have both. I don't need both, though. But that's okay. Good to kind of check yes. things out. All right. We're in the broken droid. Take the data pad from him. So we've caught... We got what we're looking for. Uh -huh. Just in case we come into any more combat. Wow, he's doing a lot of healing on himself. Sure. I'll drop us a heal. Let's see what's in that other room that's off here to the left. Oh! Those are assault droids. Ooh, that might not be a good thing to do. Oh, that hurts. That's not good. Guys, back off. Guys, back off. Ready. Back off. I said go away. Disengage. HK, disengage. Just run. Those things are too strong. I don't think we'll be able to take it. Karth, just run. Just run. HK, don't go back in, you fool. Uh, since I'm not there, I can't ignore the combat on them. Karth, don't go back. Don't go back. We're just going to go this way. Follow me. Hopefully we'll get the port thing like I did as well, and we'll get we'll get myself on back. That's not a big deal. I'd rather not die and have to do everything all back. So I'm going to end the episode here. Will Aswad get back on up and be able to take those droids out? Are we going to be able to get out of this embassy unseen? What else awaits us when we leave? Find out next time in the next adventure of Aswad, Dick Whistle, and Company. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video, hit the like button there at the bottom. Subscribe if you're new to the channel for more content like this. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. May the force be with you guys and have a great rest of your day. Take care.